synthesizer. Uh, it's built with a Teensy 3.2 and the audio board from Teensy. Um, it uses two Nintendo DS touchscreens as no inputs. So it has USB mini for power and the uh, eighth inch output for the audio out. And yeah, so the synthesizer has four different waveforms. So we have square there, uh, this is a car plus strong string. Um, then we have triangle and sawtooth. So. Square. Uh, string. And then 
triangle, which is pretty low. So as far as controls, uh, we have attack and decay. So if we pull up the attack and decay a lot, we can get a pad sound. And then uh, each pad has two voices or two oscillators um, and then there's a detune on the second one and this is the knob for the detune so so about 12 o'clock is close to tuned and then there's noise and uh car plus strong doesn't have noise i didn't pipe it through but all the other waveforms do uh, then we have our main volume output here. Second row, we have a cutoff and resonance. Oh, one second. And then we have an LFO that controls that cutoff. So we have LFO uh, time, a rate. Turn that down, and then there, there's a built-in delay as well. So we have time and feedback for the delay. And down here, uh, this will be your octave. This is the drum volume, which we'll, I'll show you in a second. And then over here, this is to switch into drum mode. And this uh, switch right here controls what the uh, Y position of the pads is, what its destination is. So right now it's on the cutoff. But it also can be a detune source. So Click that over here. You can, the center of each pad is pretty much tuned, and then you can bend up and bend down. So yeah, so each pad has four notes. It's a, it's all tuned to A minor right now, which I could change, but. Honestly, most of my stuff is in that anyway, so, so I'm going to keep it as A minor for now. So that's pretty much everything to the synthesizer. Um, there's also the drum mode. Uh, when you go into this, it's it's kind of like a grid layout <clears throat> of 16 steps sequencer, and each row represents a drum. So top row is kick, middle is snare, bottom row is hi-hat, and then there's two pages of that, and you can access the second page with the switch. There's nothing on it, so you can't see any changes, but you just uh, enter notes by touching on what you want. So we have two kick drums, we have a snare there, a couple hi-hats, Sometimes the note uh, step entry gets a little weird. Uh, you'll end up putting in steps you don't want to a lot and stuff like that. So we have some basic drums programmed on each page. They're almost identical. Maybe we should put in another snare on the second one. So when you're in this mode, this knob here is your uh, the speed of the sequence, controls that. And then to start it, you just hit uh, this button up here. So we got a pretty basic sequence going on. We can change the speed. And when you're in drum mode, uh, pretty much all of the knobs uh, change and they're now controlling the drums. So these first two are kick, then we have snare controls, and then hi-hat controls are over here. We also have uh, cutoff, 
resonance uh, dedicated just to the drums and also an LFO just for the drums. So uh, as you play it. Oh, I should say uh, kick pitch and length. Same with the snare, pitch, length. Then the hi-hat is actually a bandpass filter on the first knob and the second knob is the length. So. thing about the drum sequencer is you can actually automate your knob movements while it's running so while it's going say we want to automate that just touch it down on the pad hold it down you can see that the screen turns red indicating that it's recording a knob movement so so let's do the same with the snare and then we can do the same with the cutoff. Then we can actually bring in the cutoff LFO for more modulation. When the sequence is running, the LFO of both the synthesizer and the drums it are. Uh, it's synchronized to the speed. So we got a basic drum. Let's take off the alpha actually. Let's hop back into the synth and you can see the drum pattern keeps going. And then our LFO is now synchronized, so... So, then when you change the uh, LFO speed, it takes it a minute, or it takes it just one sequence through to, to resynchronize. But it's just divisions of the sequencer speed. So it should stay in time. all the steps everything is gone so yeah I've been having a lot of fun with this thing um, my last TNT synth was really cool but found it a little lacking and being able to play notes expressively like it was just eight buttons so this is really cool to be able to do your pitch bends and stuff DS uh, styluses, which also work pretty well. I found that just using the fingernail is pretty good, though. But, uh, yeah. 
as my latest synth. Um, I'll post up all the code and everything like that. And hope you guys enjoyed that. All right.